Hello. 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 We've got the goods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Mum is actually in this one a bit as well, but she's not here, so we did try and replace her. But Jordan's lost it slightly today, as you can see. Dawn, stand up, Dawn. Stand up. Look at the camera. Act normal. Dawn, Dawn, stay. Stay. Dawn, sit down. Sit down. Dawn, sit down, please. Sit. Right, be good. 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 He's definitely not sitting on his own. Oh, she gave you a nice kiss. <laughs> They're just a little couple in love. <laughs> There's only so much she can do. Like a uh, ghost. <laughs> ghost. Yeah, only without you. Which is a bit awkward. What do you mean ghost? The ghost. film Ghost. Yeah, is it ghost? There's a pottery in it. Oh, into a yeah. Sexy scene. Yeah, only you literally went there, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad to love, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, our mum isn't here because yeah, we bought her that for Mother's Day. So moving on to today's video, we are turning some cattle out, and um, so yeah, we're just gonna go into that and yeah, yeah, just show you um, what we do to get them to the field they go into, a bit of the process, and then yeah, see them happy in their field. Trying to get the timing right because it's been. Uh... Most people know quite a difficult year to turn stock out. I think we've turned down cows us three times and had them back in, but yeah. uh, they're permanently out now. Yeah. Um, oh, there they are. <laughs> be going out at night, hopefully, uh, tomorrow. tomorrow night is the plan. And uh, girls have just said, yeah, we've, we've got most of the stock out uh, the last couple of days. Yeah. Yeah, nice so. To finally, get them out. I hope you enjoy. Well, our parents have been across the road um, putting up a fence ready for the cattle to go out to the field. I've just done all the gates now with Barney um, so we can run them down into the holding yard ready for when the lorry comes we can just load them straight on in and um, there's a few we've got to split off either because they're big heifers that need to go to the bull or um, if they need to stay home for medical attention or anything like that so we're just going to sort through them quick and then they're ready to go across the road. Out day. You are all about. So these are our steers and young heifers. So young heifers who are too small to go with the bull, and then our steers who aren't quite fat enough yet. So they're going to go out. Have a bit of grub. In it, Ginge. Yeah. They probably think they're being TV tested. To be fair. So we're just going to put them through the race now. Um, and sort them out to so anyone who we don't want going out or anyone because they're going away from the farm across the road via lorry anyone who we want to keep home um, to make sure we can keep an eye on them so on and so forth we're going to split off now so because they come through the race to TV test they are a bit apprehensive but oh. so these are just going straight out it's nice to walk them through the race actually when they're not being TV tested just to get them used to doing it and nothing bad happening. <laughs> Barney! Barney does think he's a sheepdog, but you're not, are you? You're a menace. So we're splitting this steer off because he's a little, well, he's lame on his back left. So me and Poppy will do his foot and then we'll take him over in the box when he's better then. So we're just going to split them off, some all of these going out today, which is very exciting. They're getting their grill on already. Should we do the tail? So the dream team are just now going to go down and cut everyone's tails. So I don't know if you watched our last YouTube where our mum had it really hard, but my dad's got really brand new sharp scissors. And mum is working with crap hairstresses <laughs> that are really old and blunt. Nevertheless, she's doing a great job. Yeah, they can cut into the tail over the summer. And so we put these on so we knew who was um, who when they were out and some were in. And so now they can come off. So what's the reason that you cut their tails, Dad? The reason we cut the tails is uh, what happens if they're long like that. The, they tend to pull very thin when they're on grass and the pool will stick to the tail 
and then it gets really long and horrible and it just drags on the floor, attracts a lot of flies and it's really messy. So it's just a nice clean tail and it uh, just keeps the back of the animal all nice and clean and tidy. lorry is split into three different compartments which works really well because then um, we can just bring the groups in in smaller numbers makes them easier to load and also it's just safer and they tend to go on a lot easier so that gate opens up there then there's another one there that will open up to the side there so you've got another section of the back there so that's why we bring them in then in three different groups And then before we started, the floor was covered in sawdust, which has obviously gone mucky now. Um, but that just makes the floor a lot more grippy, so it stops the cattle from slipping there. So the dream team, the girls, are in team truck. So our dad and the lorry driver are just driving the cattle over now um, to the field, which is about a three minute drive. It's a mile, isn't it? It's a mile, yeah. So we're actually grazing grass that we've never actually grazed before. It's normally silage fields, but we'll go into a bit more of that later. So I'm um, just the, our chauffeur, is it? Chauffeur. Chauffeur. <laughs> our mum's our chauffeur. And off we go to unload the first lot of cattle. They're all very excited. Yeah, there's no better feeling than turning cattle out. They love it, so it's really exciting. So you can see how busy this main road is. So we wouldn't actually run cattle up this far anyway. That would be really silly. <laughs> but yeah, it's just too busy. So we bring them on a lorry.
it. Got your fans up there. They've gone for a little run. I left them I'm in charge of filming them coming out the lorry, so it'll be interesting to see what that footage is like. <laughs> <laughs> if she's even past play, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> yeah, she was like, is it already playing? I was like, no, just press play. And I was instantly like, does she know how? <laughs> Now, so let's get I don't know how to, whose phone is this? Yeah, because it's still live, I'm afraid. I don't know how you lock it. Obviously, we gotta make sure we shut this gate because now the cattle are in there. Close this out, oh, uh, the outside gate as well, just in case. Oh, they've gone. Yeah. So we're back with our second load. It's the first load all nice and happy out in the field. And now, hopefully, we'll get all of these out. But who knows? They're gonna split off either five or six. My mother's just quietly having a little bit of a minute. Hello, Mum. 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 So this is the next bunch now, um, some nice young heifers that will also be going across the road. So we've just had them through the race and cut all their tails and now they're just all gathered ready to load on the lorry just the same as we did the others. Now they're going to divide eight of the small ones. Okay, but we just lost one. Okay, so you split off Bring down and kick it in. Yeah. Yeah. Lottie! Lottie! So, these cattle are a bit younger. There is a bit of a mix in here. So, we're a little bit more apprehensive about these lot going up to the wire. But, as you could probably tell, some of these have already gone through it. So, who actually cares at this point? <laughs> but, no, we will try and be a bit more on it with making sure they don't run straight through this wire. So, that's what me and Josie are doing. And they're off. Hopefully they'll come across the others and just follow them. 
the one that's the right side anyway. Well, like, obviously that bit went alright, but who knows what they're doing up there. In a minute they're probably going to come crashing down through this fence yeah. in excitement. We'll just camp. cross that bridge when we get to we it. We already know that we've got about five on the side, and I'd say that is what happened. The fence is still up, and they're not going back over, so I'd say they ran down in excitement, saw the fence, stalled, and then their only option was to quickly do a leap. Leap of faith. Yeah, so this wire is literally going all the way up there and then across. And it is on electric, so it's got a solar panel there. So that if they did touch it, they would get a shock. So a they won't want to go over it, but... A harmless but effective shock. Yeah, just to stop them having the whole field. Oh, sorry. Wow. Sorry. Josie just did me right over there. Mm. So we did just put three back over the right side that were across the wire and we stupidly didn't film it probably because it was so high intensity um so we're hoping that's all of them but we have got another group to join now so we'll see so this is the last load now So they should just spot their friends and to their friends. The last fun. Usually the most silly. And they're off. So basically the wire is at the moment below the gate for obvious reasons, because they had to come in through the gate. So now we're going to move the wire up. There's two water troughs just up there. So we're basically just gonna put it just above there so they don't have the gate. So dad's just keeping the wire tight because obviously the minute they see that go slack they'll probably be over it in a heartbeat. Just getting the steaks. That's why we offered you to go separate all night. So we're gonna run now to the end of the wire. And just check they're all in the right place make sure they're happy and yeah oh dear Josie's having to have a break <laughs> oh, so we need to so we've made it to the top of the hill they're all in the right place. Yeah, boy. Four. It's a bit of a miracle, actually, really. So we've turned out about um, 70 cattle. So, yeah. That was great for us now. So we've had a bit of a clobber this year. They're actually great what would normally be our silage ground. But we've come out to check the silage ground and it's just, it's just not good grass like it's not growing and it's like well you can, you can see kind it. of see it's just not doing that well there's no lushness to it 
it's just a bit sad. Yeah. So, yeah, so um, what we've decided to do is the fields at home where these cattle would normally go to, like straight across the farm, you can literally see the fields. Um, that's where they would normally go and that grass is actually doing okay and especially in the one field it's actually really quite long now it's not far off being able to cut well that's a bit dramatic but we've decided to switch it up so because this hasn't come we're grazing here and then we're going to cut silage where they would normally graze just because our like we always say in all our youtubes our farm is quite dry we're really lucky so because we're a dry farm that has coped a lot better with the winter that we've had which is why we're going to cut it with silage whereas for this is just really really struggled it's had a really hard winter i'm sure a lot of farmers are in the same boat and understand it's really difficult we're, we're quite lucky in the sense that we have that option where we can graze this and use that for silage a lot of farmers are just stuck full stop so yeah yeah we're trying to make a positive out of a negative yeah and another factor as well which is the difference between this field is we did quite a late cut of silage so that was another reason and the grass wasn't really hard at the time the weather all the nutrients to bounce back up um, and then the plan is once it's grazed we're gonna plow it reseed it and start again so I'm sure we'll probably take you on that journey as well you can see despite it not being up to silage it is a nice little bite and um, so that's the reason we've got a fence and everything in here because the field literally goes all the way down to those trees so it's quite a large field so it'll just be a lot for them to graze in one go so that's why we're strip grazing it so that they don't waste anything basically get it nice and low and then we can crack on with the next part but they're loving life yeah loving life. 2024 peace <laughs> so just quickly before we go we've got a really good um electricity fence tester here and you literally just put the back on the wire like that press the button and it will tell me then how much it's kicking out so it's 6.4 at the moment but yeah this is amazing because um it just shows us the fence is working without us having to touch it because i can't physically touch it so yeah really handy Well, that is true. 